Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Ferrari World Championship games for Java. In Ferrari World Championship, you select from two champions and start racing in F1 cars. You can unlock a third character after accomplishing the requirement, but still, three characters is a little short. But even if the number of characters is short, the quality isn't. The game has 9 tracks. And in this 9 tracks, the details are amazing. I mean, the tracks aren't just a different background. They have unique polygon structures. Each one of them is incredibly detailed for a Java game. The car handling isn't realistic. It's said to be fun. Also, even if you can tune your vehicle, I haven't noticed any difference when driving with different settings. You also can do pit stops if you are into F1 games and had the java phone back in the day, this game would have done the job for sure. Ferrari World Championship 2009 has some really wonky controls. I don't know if the game is like this, or if my version was faulty, but I couldn't keep the car in a straight line. I was trying to move from left to right to remain on the track. And another not so nice detail is that they ditched the realism for good and they ditched the fun handling too. If you brake, you lose. But if you accelerate, you end up at one point driving through the map and then returning on the track. Also compared to the previous game, the polygons look half rendered and they don't look as good. You get again two characters to choose from, but on the plus side, you get more content. You now get 10 tracks in the career mode and more in the legend trophy game mode. This new game mode is pretty neat. You can drive historical races and get to complete challenges with legendary cars. It's a really nice game mode that complements the already nice career mode really nicely. 